I've been trying to think uh, how to describe what regenerating soil is in comparison to those who use artificial fertilizer to grow their crops and why we need cattle, sheep, horses, pigs, chickens to regenerate the soil. Basically, if you're thirsty and you drink a glass of water, you have to refill the glass of water to drink again. When you artificially fertilizer foodstuffs, you are not returning anything to the soil, you are continually taking from the soil to the point that the soil becomes dirt a non-rejuvenative process which depletes and depletes and depletes the soil. And what I'm doing here, this is a hay bale thing that's empty, is kind of mob grazing the horses uh, and rejuvenating the soil. I'm returning organic matter to the soil. And this is what has to happen. And the increase in fertility for the soil and the microbial and microbial microsial life in the soil is the manure from said herbivores, horses, sheep, uh, cows, etc., alpaca for that matter with me. But this is the crux of it. We are on a planet with limited boundaries. So we need to rejuvenate soil in a cyclical system to grow food, be it vegetables, grains, or meat. Now, this alleyway is for the horses to go and get the water. And I have a rotten bale of hay, but I don't see that as a negative. What I'm gonna do is roll that bale of hay out along here, and they will walk on it and into the soil and it will then rejuvenate the soil with organic matter. You can see where the horses were here before, and you can see where I've spread the hay, and that's returning organic matter to the soil. It's not constantly depleting the soil. And the horse's manure is moving nutrients from one location to another so that the microbial life in the soil can, microbial and microsial life in the soil can multiply and eat and feed. At this at the moment is an area I'm trying to build the soil, put loads of organic matter in and loads of manure. The horses are here and you can see I'm spreading the hay. This is the fresh bale of hay we've just put up and we're gonna get the rotten bale in. We've put the electric fence down to get in and out. But this is about, it looks messy and mucky, but it's, if you think about it, in the days of yore, the animals would have wandered and there would have been mucky areas within a pasture, a grazing system, particularly around water courses and things and in wet winters. Now, a thing to understand is that the cloven hooves of cows and sheep disturb the soil seedbed and bring up the ancient seedbed uh, more towards the surface. So you want a bit of poaching. This is kind of a lot of poaching right now, but this will, as you can see, grow back. This is literally the other side of the fence and this is about, oh, about a month ago, the horses grazed this and it looked like that. So this is how regenerative grazing and bale grazing returns organic matter. So that's not waste. That's the equivalent of my fertilizer bill. So this is something that a lot of farmers don't understand. In the modern system, a lot of this is seen as waste. I see that as soil food fertility, particularly when it's mixed up with manure. And this is rejuvenates the soil. 
in such a way with all the vitamins, minerals, microbes, microsial life. And this is why we need animals within the system that we grow grains and vegetables because they are the fertility dispersers, dispensers, providers, and movers for the soil. Otherwise, us humans are hauling around manure or artificial fertilizer. And artificial fertilizer, farmyard manure is what I mean by manure. Artificial fertilizer gives nothing back to the soil and is a false economy on the soil and the productivity of the soil. And you have less nutrient density as the soil becomes depleted of nutrients. And this is something that a lot of the micronutrients are disappearing in a lot of the foodstuffs. This is why uh, hydroponic systems, hydroponic systems are uh, abandon the nutrients, uh, or not abandon, that's the wrong word. Um, hydroponic systems uh, create a lack of micronutrients which you get when you have a system that is returning organic matter and particularly the high density of nutrients that are, are within a manure. And that is my talk about regenerative farming for this morning. You'd probably be asking why I don't put the horses out on that green, green grass. Well, they'd eat it all and chew it all up so the whole field would look like this. This is building the soil slowly, section by section. There's areas here where I can't even get the um, electric fence stakes down in very deep because it's very shallow. Here you can see this here. I can only get it down that deep because it's a stone shelf. There's a lime stone shelf here. So that is solid rock underneath. You can see here, this one again, this is solid rock underneath. So it's very shallow soil. Here you can see I've spread this rotten bale. A large proportion of it is rotten. And the horses will pick through it and they will also walk it into the ground. So that will be fertilizing and giving organic matter to this area of the soil. And you can see they've chewed it up a bit, but the whole field could look like that because of the amount of rain. But as you can see here, the grass is growing back from, this was one paddock, that's another paddock. So slowly but surely, life is returning. And you can see the biodiversity here. There's yarrow. This is one kind of grass here. There's a dandelion. There's buttercup. There's another kind of buttercup. Uh, there's clover, more clover coming through. And that's a different grass there. You can see there's a blue tinge to that grass. So there's a lot of biodiversity coming up out of there. Down here, there's daisies. That's a daisy. That is, um, I'm being stupid right now. I know what that is. Uh, I can't think what it is. It'll come to me. It's not a daisy. Uh, anyway, there's lots of, oh, here's some wild herbs right here. And so there's a lot of biodiversity. So it's how you manage it. It can look really mucky and disgusting in the winter. And the cat's having a lovely time because it all smells like ma mice and rats. But if you look at the hay here, this has um, seed heads. So this is one grass. There's another grass there. And there's a cat there. Hello, kitty. So the seed heads that are in this, you can see there's another seed head there. The seed heads will also be chewed into the soil and add to the diversity of plant life here. Because some of these might be plants that I don't have here. Mind you, I do have that one. Um, so that's kind of 
that's the biodiversity of um, what I'm doing to add to the biodiversity and to the soil uh, sequestering carbon into the soil. And that field is looking beautiful and green with long, long, lush grass, which will be for the lambs and the sheep. Isn't that right, kitty? So, and look, you just lean over the fence anywhere I choose. And there's yarrow, oh, that's a thistle. There's clover, plantain, that was the one I couldn't think of. That's dock. And because I don't use artificial fertilizer, the horses and the sheep and the alpaca will eat it. There's celandine. Oh, yes, I know. You want attention. There's more docks, more clovers, more plantains. And that's just the other side of this fence. And this action stirs up, like I said earlier, the native seed bed. So all the native seeds come to the surface. You're such a farm cat. You don't mind rolling around in mud, really. Yes, you're such a cat. Now I've got to go let the horses out. You gonna come help me let the horses out or are you gonna disappear when I do that? Oh, you're so mucky. You muck savage of a cat. You're covered in muck. Hey girls, time for you to come out and do your regenerative farming practices. Come on, girls. Whoops. The other dogs are inside right now, just because of dealing with the quad and the bales and everything. And she, Inca, hid under a car, so I couldn't catch her. But these are now gonna walk them out to the, come on, Miss Daisy Rose. Come on, off you go. Good girl. Come on. catching up with her friends, Ishka and her daughter, Grasshopper. And because of my neck, I was never able to break school or break Grasshopper. It's been that many years. So, Go on, little girl. The horses are gonna have a lovely time grazing that bale of hay. Miss Daisy will find it easy to walk on. Or she's just gonna stop and start eating. There we go. She's just gonna stop and start eating. Clever girl. The other thing this bale of hay will do with the soil and everything, will feed the mycorrhizal life for those beech trees. Mind you, those beech trees are so old. They're near the end of their life, which is why storms have been knocking them down. An oven mitt has returned. Such a muck savage of a cat, aren't you, with your beautiful green eyes?